Yeah guys, so we are at the French Military Museum and Tomb of Napoleon here in Paris, which is located just across just across the Alexander Bridge in downtown Paris. We're going to go check it out. We may uh, if it's free, we'll probably pop our head in there. A lot of the uh, a lot of the national uh, historical museums of France are free. So, uh, we'll see if there's see if it's free, see if there's an admission charge. If there's an admission charge, we may come back another time. But um, let's go check it out, maybe. Hey guys, this, this makes a little bit better shot because the sun is kind of hidden, so you can see the you can see the gold dome of the museum and the uh, statue of Napoleon up there underneath the clock. And uh, we just had a, uh, I think it was a quarter hour chime play. I missed that, but trust me, it happened. So. Uh, that's the interior courtyard of the French Military Museum and Napoleon Grave, grave site. Yeah guys, so in the center of this great, great gold dome church hall is the tomb of Napoleon. Right there, they, uh, when they created this, they envisioned sort of an open, uh, open, um, open viewing concept here. That's why they have it in the, in the central hall. But I guess uh, it was completed in like 1853 and they didn't transfer Napoleon's ashes uh, here until 1861, something like that. But uh, pretty cool. See all the statues surrounding the, uh, surrounding the tomb. We may go to the lower level, see if we can get a better look. Yeah, guys, so here at the French Military Museum, they have an exhibition on the liberation of France and specifically Charles de Gaulle. And um, it's pretty cool. They have uh, all sorts of medals. I don't know if these were the, if these were all, yeah, I guess these were uh, all the, uh, all the medals that Charles de Gaulle received while he was, uh, while he was serving. It's pretty cool. here for all you interested in uh, interested movie and history buffs. They have a plaque from Casablanca, the legit Casablanca, 1935. Not the movie. Yeah guys, and here in the French Liberation section they have a nice uh, a nice poster entitled Welcome to You Our Allies. And I'll uh, I'll let you read it here. You can you can pause the screen as necessary. Very cool. Yeah, guys, and in the next room they have the uh, the four flags of, uh, of the Allies, the Soviet Union, the, the the UK, the Great Britain, the French, and the Americans. And there's a flag behind us that was dedicated to the, the occupation of France that we're not going to vlog, but if you visit, know that you can see that too. <laughs> yeah, guys, and in the World War I, World War II section of the museum, they have a Renault taxi, which is very, very cool. Don't see that every day. Yeah, guys, so we are here in Paris on New Year's Eve, and um, it's really quite something. We just came from the Christmas market which we had dinner at, which we wanted to eat at. Evidently they have, and I guess I didn't realize this, looks like the Champs-Elysees is closed. They have police trucks here at the head, and I don't see any traffic going on it. So I don't know if that's the whole Champs-Elysees, or just, yeah, it looks like it's open to pedestrian traffic. So, um, we need to kind of talk about where we're going here because we could get stuck and do something stupid. So uh, we'll check back with you in a minute. But for now, the lights from the Champs-Elysees. Yeah, so you can see the uh, Champs-Elysees out there in the distance. That was probably maybe 
And it's hard to tell if the whole thing is closed. It sure looks like it is. That was probably an obvious thing for uh, those of you who have been to Paris on New Year's Eve before, but since it's our first time, um, we didn't know. So uh, we, we figured it out. We made our way around. This will work just fine. And uh, we're headed back to our hotel now, waiting for the, uh, waiting for the New Year's Eve fireworks. Yeah, guys, I know I shot this at the start of the trip, um, but we're a little bit closer to our hotel now, and uh, we got a great view of the Eiffel Tower right outside, and it's twinkling. What a great way to spend your last day in Paris, huh? We'll be back later. Yeah, guys, so we decided to take advantage of our... of our posh hotel room here in uh, in Paris and we've got about less than one minute to go before uh, before Happy New Year so it's 11.59 and some seconds so we're gonna hang out with you here until we get Happy New Year we should get fireworks and not sure if they're gonna do a countdown or not can hear the cars are starting to uh, starting to get real excited. Oh, nope. there it is! Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Happy New Year everybody from Paris! <laughs>